select an appropriate level of inbound security, for example, pass through API key auth, and an appropriate path in order to expose the, the plain API. Another thing to note is that you need to configure the outbound authentication profile in order to be able to call the API Builder API that is running in the cloud. Please select HTTP Basic and copy the API key that we have found in the default JS file production. So please collect the API production key and put that as a username here inside the basic authentication window. Don't forget to click on the apply in order to let API manager save your changes. From this point on, you can actually um, query the API, you can actually create users. So let's try to see how many planes we have in the database right now. As I told you already, uh, the data that you have um, created locally is not copied to the cloud. So what you see here, that we actually get an HTTP 200, but it has no, no planes inside the database. So we can go ahead and create some entries here to play around with it. This can be done from the front end API definition or can be done from the API catalog. If you want to create a plane, you might struggle with a missing, um, missing body in API Manager. That's also pretty easy to solve. Just go into API Builder again, into the doc and test, click on the API, click on the right method, and copy the body from here, and paste it into the body window here. So let's create an A380, produced by Airbus. with a wingspan of 80 meters. Then we get a 201. Let's quickly query it and see if the entry is there. Oh, here we go. You see, there is the A380 inside the database. So everything fine here. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Have fun with playing, uh, playing with API Manager and API Builder.